Hey guys, a couple weeks ago I did a video on power inverters and talked about them as a uh, as something every prepper should own, you know, because they are really just indispensable piece of gear. And I want to share another piece of indispensable gear for preppers that I think is just an absolute must have in your household. And that is a digital multimeter. Now, I'm not an electrician. I took a few classes in college. You're talking that was also at this point 15 years ago. So I'm not the best person to demonstrate this. So I'm not going to demonstrate it. Um, just Google and there are tons of great videos showing how to use these things and exactly and they're going to do it a lot better and with better lighting and better cameras than I can do. So let's talk about multimeters, what they are, why you need it and why it's such an important item. Well, multimeters usually have a whole range of functions from testing voltage to amperage to resistance. They are basically ways to measure electrical current and properties of electrical current via a couple of test probes which you see sticking out of the top. Now this one here is a pretty cheap, inexpensive one. It was maybe like 30, 35 bucks. Nothing fantastic at all. These things go from like $10 up to hundreds of dollars. Very much like the power inverters, the uh, price is often indicative of the quality you're getting. Um, it's very rare to see expensive multimeters that are garbage. So they tend to be, you know, the better ones really tend to be, you know, you're going to spend some money on them. Uh, for regular household use, you can get away with a $30 to $50 multimeter, no problem. Now, what are you going to need this for? Um, I find it to be a very helpful thing around the house. Number one, these are actually excellent for testing individual components on your appliances. So, say if your dryer does shit the bed, you can actually go and individually test the components on your dryer and find out which one is blown. That's exactly how a repairman does it. These things often have something called a continuity tester which basically runs through the uh, the component and if it's not allowing electrical current through it's bad and it will kind of beep and let you know it's bad. So you can actually take this and if you uh, and tell you guys there is there's not an appliance out there that there isn't some kind of troubleshooting available on the internet on how to diagnose. You can literally go and just component by component and try and figure out what the problem is. Um, it's especially useful for things like heating elements um, and things like that that might be uh, broken that you can't see with the naked eye. Um, so it does. it's very helpful. Washers, dryers, refrigerators, anything that might have individual electronic components or timers or anything like that, it allows you to test them. Uh, number two, it allows you to check batteries. So if you do have a set of batteries, uh, 12 volt, 6 volt, whatever, regular household batteries, you can use this to test the voltage coming out of them to see if they're good or not. If you are using a power inverter setup, this is a great way to check on that system, make sure everything's working properly. Um, these work great for, you know, you can even test car batteries with them. There's so much you can do. And as a prepper, shit hits the fan and you're going out to loop car batteries for your power inverter. If I'm running out, I tell you what, I don't want to be lugging back car batteries that don't work. I would rather bring this with me and individually test each battery in the field before I bring them back. So I find it to be just indispensable gear. Likewise, shit hits the fan, whatever. Say we enter into another Great Depression. You just can't afford to get your, you know, things fixed or buy new things. You know, you're going to have to learn to start fixing things on your own. This is a really good tool to do that. I've had this one for quite a while. I've actually used this. For a couple of different things and of course I mentioned the dryer because we had the heating element blow on the dryer and within literally five minutes I was able to go in the back and put this on the heating element and determine the heating element was bad and there's a couple other times where we've had uh, outlets go and all of a sudden we're not getting power and you go to the breaker box and the breaker box is just fine and uh, you know, by, by able to test, you're able to learn that it was actually the outlet that was broken and not something wrong with the breaker box. So you can do a lot of testing and uh, 
determining what's broken without having to call a professional. And learning to use these things, guys, you can learn to use them in five minutes. They're not complicated, they're very easy. All different types of them too. They have types that have these little electric probes like what I have. They have other kinds that kind of clamp over wires. All different types. They're really easy to use. There's instructions all over the internet. And you really don't need to know a ton aside from just being able to not electrocute yourself or destroy your electronics. Um, so once again, guys, really, really cool things. And as a prepper, I think, you know, this is something that may save your bacon, you know, when it comes to trying to set up alternative power sources, when it comes to trying to fix things in your own home, fix your gear, fix components, tools, whatever. This is just a must, must, must have. And, uh, you know, I wish I was, I wish I was more knowledgeable on the subject and could sit down and really show you how to use these things, but they're really cool. But there are, there's tons of videos out there from people who are experts with these and just Google multimeter, you will see just thousands of videos showing you how to use them, how to diagnose problems. You can even start and just go on YouTube and do, you know, multimeter dryer test and you'll find videos on how to how to diagnose problems with a dryer or a washer or your refrigerator or anything around the house so in the end it's 30 bucks that saves you money and in a shit hits a fan scenario it might just save your bacon so there you go a nice must-have piece of gear